So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, uh, how do you build a device tree from scratch? Which I've done tons of videos on how to do that. But what people keep asking is, well, what if there's no device out there that's similar for you to steal a tree from? What do you use to do this literally from scratch? And realistically, there's always going to be some device out there that has the same system on a chip as yours. I've, I've yet to find a phone that didn't have a matching system on chip out there uh, of something, you know, um, <clears throat> at least in the modern modern uh, age. However, uh, there's there's the possibility that there are some, so I concede that point. Um, one of the things that you can do is literally, if you just type into any web search, Lineage OS device tree template, you'll get actually uh, several um, options and things, but uh, this one that pops up right here, Android device tree template, is just a good place to start. <clears throat> So um, I just wanted to highlight this for those that had that specific question. Hey, here's where you go. If you want to get one that's completely from scratch and not have anything in it, this is where uh, where you would get it from. So this uh, Lineage OS source device tree template, you can see that, uh, you know, this Amasaru um, put this in here and uh, did some edits to it and really uh, made a, a very nice little tree for you um, you know and, and some information about how you should have some fun which is great because that's why we're doing this right we're trying to have a little bit of fun and, and do some good things and uh, you know he he or she points out you know you should cross reference information shown in tutorials and um, and in the uh, repositories at Lineage OS to make sure that you um, you know look at other devices and do similar and so that's why I always like using another device tree as a guide especially if you can find one for the same system on a chip it should be relatively similar to yours um, and then uh, and then some tutorials here are linked um, for you. And, uh, you know, some disclaimers. This is all provided as is. But I just wanted to look real quick at this just to show you show you guys. So they're all with the dot template at the end. So the idea is you would change them and then um, remove that dot template uh, so it would be readable. But notice that this is just a... Um, just a just a template for you to go through you know include and then it's like vendor manufacturer you need to put in that your device you need to put in that board config vendor you know and then it just has all the right um, options but you need to fill it in so that way you know what uh, what it is that you're trying to put in here and and some notes that say like okay fix fix this by examining proc MTD on a running device so that way you can look at the process MTD folder get this information and punch it in here <clears throat> so it's very handy because they have some uh, very nice little cues for you so you know where to uh, get the information from and then they've just kind of filled in some generic stuff for you that you obviously need to edit or change to put in here um, we'll look at uh, device as well and you can see you know, as they go through just, uh, you know, leaving blank spaces or leaving uh, note spaces for you to actually put in um, your information and how it should uh, how it should look and lay out. And what's really, really nice about this is if you were to follow these templates, your device tree would look a lot like the Lineage OS device trees of everything else. Um, <clears throat> this is this is very very good uh, if you're trying to do something completely from scratch. Uh, do keep in mind that really though this is just a a template based on a device that um, probably Amasaru already had and uh, so you know yours uh, you you could just grab pre, pretty much any Lineage OS tree and use that as your template to put stuff in there. Um, it's uh, you know, it's really just a matter of how you want to get the information. Um, the nice thing is, like I said, the great notes in there to show you uh, what to uh, 
where you should possibly get some of that information and so this is a very very handy thing to uh, to use so I'm gonna provide a link in the description so you can uh, check this out but do keep in mind that the best thing you can do if you're gonna build a device tree from scratch is to look for uh, a device that has a similar system on a chip to yours and then use that device tree as your device tree from scratch because it's gonna have a lot of information filled in for you already that is the same and also <clears throat> it will probably point to a common folder that's gonna have that common information that you need as well which is really really handy to have the um, common folder where a lot of things are updated and kept uh, for you and you only have to work and focus on the portions that directly uniquely identify your phone from everything else so something to uh, keep in mind and to check out I'll provide a link in the description and hopefully for those of you that are looking to do it completely from scratch without using any device as a guide then this would be the place that you go to do it